had my first follow-up uh, visit with my um, urologist on Thursday, first um, appointment since uh, the operation, and I was quite nervous beforehand. Um, was apprehensive because I didn't really know what um, what he might be saying. Um, I was anticipating that we would get um, histology results, so the results of when they took the tumour out and put it under the microscope, microscope and what did that show, um, what did that mean in terms of um, prognosis and what treatment might they recommend. Um, real kind of sense of things not being in my control um, which is which is difficult um, and just that it's been such a long time coming so it's, it was eight weeks after the operation so I've kind of had eight weeks of recovery and being in a little bit of limbo um, in the sense that there's no treatment at the moment um, but expecting there to be treatment in the future so it's almost like a, a calm before the storm uh, situation. Um, so went along on Thursday um, and it didn't necessarily go how I'd expected it to go um, and there was some good news and there was some not so good news. So the good news um, is that when they put the lymph nodes under the microscope they couldn't see any cancer so that uh, was really unexpected um, and the, the consultant himself said that he was really surprised because when they'd seen them on the scan uh, they were quite enlarged um, which made them think that the, the cancer had spread into them but yeah so under the microscope no, no cancer in the lymph nodes so that's a real positive um, however the histology results, so the, um, when they looked at the, the tumour itself under the microscope, uh, some of the features of that have made it um, a high risk for coming back. So that's not so good, um, obviously. What I forgot to say when I was recording this is uh, the histology showed that the type of tumour is a renal cell carcinoma, which is the most common type of kidney cancer and that it had been growing for at least a year um, and maybe up to five years. Um, and, you know, the plan of action. So, you know, what's the plan of action from that? And this is the bit that I was, wasn't was necessarily expecting. So what they have um, asked is that I go back for another scan on Monday. Um, so that's tomorrow. Um, have another CT scan um, and they're going to check to see if there is any signs of cancer anywhere else um, and if there isn't any signs of cancer anywhere else then um, they have recommended um, a clinical trial um, and it's um, I don't kind of want to think about it too much just in case it doesn't happen but um, essentially it's a clinical trial of uh, immunotherapy drugs um, it's a three-arm study, so there's, there's, um, you'll either get randomised into one of the three different um, pathways, you either get no treatment, which is the current standard treatment for somebody who has no evidence of spread after their nephrectomy, or you get randomised into the group where you have um, one immunotherapy drug, or the second arm, the third arm, sorry, which has um, two immunotherapy drugs. So. <sighs> we'll have to wait and see. Um, so it's a bit more waiting, which is not great. It's more uncertainty, but I guess that's the, the one thing you can be certain of is uncertainty when you're, um, when you're diagnosed with cancer. So watch this space. Um, yeah, I guess I'm disappointed because um, I'd hoped that I would have a treatment plan. And as I said, some good news, but tempered with some bad news, um, or some not so good news. So I don't really feel that I'm any further forward um, from when I last did a vlog. Although, um, on another positive note, I did go out for a bit of a jog last weekend, um, which was great. Went down to Park Run with my friend, and um, yeah, it was it was jogging rather than running, and there was also a little bit of walking in there, but. Um, I got round, did it in about 39 minutes, 
um, and I was doing 26 minutes before the cancer so a lot slower but it's a start um, and yeah so that's good it's not nice to start to get feel as though I'm getting a little bit of um, starting on my journey towards getting some of my fitness back again um, yeah so I will do another vlog um, when I'm when I've had the scan hopefully um, and I'll speak to you soon